Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today it's smoked salmon. Stick around. <music> All right, folks, what we have here is about a two and a quarter pound farm raised salmon. So we'll just go ahead and dig into this guy. Uh, this is a salmon that has the skin still on. As you can see on the back here, let's move that package out of the way. I like keeping that skin on um, for two reasons, really. It kind of serves as a barrier so the uh, salmon itself, the meat, doesn't get stuck to the grill. And also, if you score this and cover it with some salt, it turns out to be a pretty crunchy little snack. So we're gonna run our hands over and look for the bones. There's one. And I suggest you always use a glove for this. You'll be able to feel the bone. I mean, it's, it's you know, evident that it's there once you feel it. Oh, son of a... Okay, so what we'll do, flip this over. You don't want to go all the way through the skin, so be careful. Just a little slits along the way. That's going to help get some of the uh, seasoning down in there, too. Pretty sure this is the first fish cook we've done on Cask and Cube. All right, after you get done doing that, you'll have scales on your knife, so... Get those out of the way. So we'll go ahead and hit the skin with uh, just my proprietary blend. Heavy pepper and heavy salt and a bunch of other stuff. Make sure you get that salt and pepper down in there. All right. Let that tack up a little bit, flip to the other side. Nice even application. We're gonna hit this with the glaze about the last 10 minutes of the cook. And just for another layer of flavor, I'm gonna hit this with some Cosmos Dry Rub, the Dirty Bird. And this is a big cut, salmon. Um, of course, you can feed a family with it or if you wanna make some uh, salmon salad out of it, you can do that. All kinds of things you can do. So, let's press that in, and I want to let this salmon come up to temp, uh, room temp. It's been in the refrigerator um, all night, so. All right, while this is resting and that rub is settling in, we're going to get the Kamado fired up. We're going to cook this at about 250 degrees. And so the Kamado is running about 250 degrees right now. That's exactly where we want it. It has some uh, wood chunks in there. Those wood chunks are cherry and I believe post oak, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna throw this guy on there and uh, get to cooking. And I'm thinking this is gonna take about 45 minutes total. Now that the salmon is coming up to temp, we're at about 120 degrees, 119, somewhere in there. You may ask, Justin, what is all this on the table for? Well, let me tell you, it's something awesome. Bourbon, always good. That's Yellowstone. It's one of my favorite uh, lower end bourbons. Uh, then we have some maple seasoning, some syrup. I didn't have maple syrup, so we're gonna combine all this into our little handy dandy pot there and make ourselves a wonderful glaze. So, let's get started. I'm gonna go with about that much syrup. And. Mmm. Tasty. And about that much bourbon. Ooh, maple All right. Let's mix this up real good. Yep, that's delicious. So our next move is gonna be to put this glaze on the smoker and let it get nice and warm and apply it to that salmon. We'll be back. All right, folks, so this glaze is warmed up. It's time to put it on the salmon. All right, here we go.
<laughs> you can smell that maple right away. It's hitting that, those coals. It smells awesome. All right, we don't want to drown it, but we want to make sure we get all that on there. Oh, the bourbon's coming through with the maple. Amazing. Just kind of work our way down until all that's gone. There we go. We'll let that sit for another 10 minutes and we'll be ready to dig in. All right, guys, that salmon is smelling awesome. The maple syrup and with, you know, that bourbon maple syrup is, is dripping down and hitting the coals. The smoke coming out of that, it smells like maple and bourbon and, and cooked salmon, it's, it's wonderful. If you could bottle up that smoke, then man, I'd buy all kinds of that stuff. So let's see what we got. Oh man, it smells amazing. Our temperature is about 134. Uh, 135 so we're just under that threshold of where we need to be um, again this is farm-raised salmon so you can cook it a little bit higher temperature 140 is kind of your max though with farm-raised I wouldn't go above 145 if it was a uh, wild-caught salmon that's a different story um, but anyway that's what we got it's looking good smelling good so let's get this thing on the uh, cutting board and dig in all right folks we've let this sit for about five minutes it's already flaky smells amazing that glaze is going to be something else um i don't know i don't know what else is left to say except let's dig in and try it oh look at that as you can see that's flaky has a good uh, little bit of color on the top has some moisture to it let's give it a taste oh my god listen if you don't hate your family then cook this for them this is dynamite let's go in for another Another bite here. I mean, look how flaky that is and delicious. Well, you can't see how delicious it is, but it's got that maple and bourbon flavor along with the salt and pepper. It's just the right amount of spice. The consistency is perfect. It's not mushy. It's not tough. It's right where it needs to be. Oh, man. Freaking awesome. All right, guys. Hey, there's nothing to this cook. Just follow the video. Do everything that I did, and it's going to turn out great. I promise you. Uh, your family's going to love you for it. If you don't like salmon and you've had it several ways before and you thought, eh, it's too fishy, too gamey, or whatever the adjective is, give this a shot. I think you'll be impressed. Hey, if you like what we're doing over here at Casting Q, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next time.